Taking a look now at news out of Rockingham County, the North Carolina Highway Patrol released more details about a crash that claimed the lives of two motorcycle riders and injured several others. They released the names of the two who died and announced that troopers planned to meet with the district attorney in order to discuss charges. Now, the crash happened at around 11 o'clock on Friday morning, September the 1st. It happened on US 220 near Williams Road, which is near Madison in Rockingham County. According to a report provided by Master Trooper Brian Martin of the North Carolina Highway Patrol, he said 63-year-old Leonard Allen Cooper of King, North Carolina, was traveling north on US 220, operating a 2005 Freightliner tractor, which was pulling an open-top semi-trailer. Now, an arm attached to the semi-trailer, which assists with overhead tarping of the load, was extended, and it caught an overhead utility line that ran across US-220. Part of the overhead tarping system was ripped from the vehicle, and it landed in the roadway along with the utility line. The report said that Cooper failed to remain at the scene of the crash, and he continued north on US-220. Several motorcycle riders who were traveling north passed through the area where the line had been torn down, and the line became entangled among them, and that's when the collision occurred. Two of them died at the scene, including 33-year-old Stephen James Mateus of St. Petersburg, Florida, and 29-year-old Megan Justine Brannon of Seminole, Florida. Four others, all from Florida, received serious injuries and were transported to the Moses Cone Hospital in Greensboro. All have since been treated and released. On Friday evening, September the 1st, the same day as the crash, investigators located the vehicle and Leonard Cooper at Best Logistics Group, which is located in Kernersville. Best Logistics Group is the owner of the truck that Cooper was operating. The northbound side of US 220 near Williams Road was closed for approximately four hours during that investigation. According to Trooper Martin, he said investigators are set to meet with the Rockingham County District Attorney's Office later in the week. That's regarding charges.